Hi, thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and other important aspects of working for yourself and being self-employed. Um, so today I'm going to um, talk about what to do if you've issued an invoice and there's an um, uh, error on it and when to use credit notes. Um, before I move on to that, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you will easily be able to refer back to the information if you need to, as well as being able to find other information that we have available on a whole wide range of topics, um, all aimed at supporting you in your self-employment and um, catalogued um, using our playlist. So um, back to invoices then. So you've issued an invoice um, to your customer and you've realised that there's a mistake on it um, or you've um, your customer's queried something and you've agreed to um, you've agreed to amend um, amend it. Um, what what should you do in this instant? So the first thing um, to say is that regardless of whether you are um, VAT registered or not, when you issue an invoice to your customer or your client, it is an important um, record, an important financial record of the business transaction between you. And of course, it's important that it is accurate um, on both sides because um, depending on whether your um, your customer is a business or um, what 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 their scenario is, it could be potentially that they are using your invoice, that's a sales invoice, to claim um, to them as a as a cost. Um, but regardless of of that, it is important that that it is correct. Um, and that it is an accurate reflection of the transaction. So you've issued the invoice and either you yourself have realised that there's a mistake or um, you're, you've had a conversation with your um, with your customer once they've received and you've and you've agreed to amend um, the amount. So um, in this in this um, scenario, we're only actually talking about um, the actual um, financial values on the invoice. Um, we're not talking about um, adding adding to the description or enhancing um, on that. We're just talking about the financial amount, so the um, the net amount and the VAT amount if you are um, VAT registered. So it doesn't really matter why um, the invoice needs altering. It doesn't matter whether it's a mistake that you've made or whether you've um, your your customers um, negotiated a different price. It absolutely doesn't matter. But that invoice, once it's been issued, needs to stay um, as issued. So if you find that there's a mistake on it, then this is where you would use um, credit notes. So um, with a with a credit note, there's two options and it would depend on the circumstances and and a little bit of um, preference, both from yourself and from your um, your customer. So let's say, for example, that you've invoiced your um, customer for fifteen hundred pounds. You're not VAT registered, so it's just a, a, a set amount. And for one reason or another, that invoice now needs to be issued at twelve hundred pounds. So as I mentioned previously, that fifteen hundred pounds that was initially um, issued needs to stay as as is. Um, but what we need to do is we need to reflect that your customer is now only going to pay you £1,200. And there's two ways using the credit note that you could do that. You could simply issue them one credit note for £300 that reduces the balance of that invoice to £1,200. Or if your um, customer perhaps prefers to have a corrected invoice, then you could issue a credit note for the full £1,500, which completely offsets the invoice that was previously issued, and then reissue a new invoice at £1,200. So the important thing is whichever of those you choose to do is absolutely fine. As you can see, in the accounts, it's still going to have exactly the same um, end result. You're still going to end up with the customer owing you £1,200 
um, twelve hundred pounds, and um, and that's the important thing. Um, but what you mustn't do is then alter that invoice that's already been issued for and and amend it to twelve hundred pounds, um, because then it becomes tricky to track. So what if, for example, your customer in their records um, still has the original £1,500, but you only have um, £1,200. So by issuing a credit note and by issuing a credit note, either for the difference or for the full amount of re-invoicing, gives a clear audit trail of what's happened with that transaction and why your customer in that example no longer owes you £1,500 and that actually that transaction's now agreed at £1,200. So as I say, you can either um, issue a credit note for the difference or issue a credit note that completely offsets um, the invoice and then reissue a new invoice with a new a new number and um, as I say that that then provides a really clear audit trail and um, so particularly if you're VAT registered then of course the same principle uh, applies but it's just important to um, to understand what what's happening with the VAT so if you um, are issuing issuing a credit note, whether it's plus VAT or inclusive of, of, um, of VAT. Um, so hopefully this helps to, um, to explain um, when you should use a credit note and how you can use it so that it's there's no right or wrong as to whether you issue a credit note for the full invoice or just for the amount that you're crediting, um, but that, that one of those um, should happen rather than amending the um, original invoice that was that was if issued. So thank you very much for watching and please do take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Goodbye.